In this video, we're going to begin our look at network topologies under the fundamental lesson. Quick warning about topologies. This can get a little confusing. And some people, some students really get hung up about this. We're going to try to break this down as much as we can. First, understand that if you grab five different books about networking, you're going to wind up with six different opinions about topologies. Now, we all agree on the big stuff, but some will go into more detail on this little aspect or this little aspect. I'm just providing some fundamental concepts. Once you have the fundamental concepts, then the variations, authors, idiosyncrasies, you can understand them a little bit more. Of course, once you get into the real world, I hate that term, but the real world, you'll understand that we make a big deal out of this, but in reality, you're just putting a network together, okay? We have three categories that we can look at when we talk about topologies. Before we get there, let's understand something about the classifications. When you are watching me on the video, I can be classified several different ways. I can be classified on my gender. Am I a male or a female? I can be classified on my marital status. Am I single, divorced, widowed, what have you? I can be classified whether or not I have children. I can be classified on education. I can be classified on height. I can be classified on visual acuity. I can be classified many different ways. The cool thing is that even if I'm classified based on gender, I can also then be classified on marital status. I can also be classified on height. I can be classified on multiple different things. So when we're taking a look at topologies and we see the three categories, understand that it's not you belong here and that's the only thing you can belong to. This is just three different ways to kind of make sense of what's going on. The first way we can classify this stuff is by topology. And we have something called physical and logical. We have things under here called bus, ring, star, mesh, and hybrid. We'll take a look at all these separately. We can then classify things based on geography. Where are they physically located? What's their distance from each other? We have something called a personal area network, or PAN. We have something called a local area network, or LAN. We have a campus area network, or CAN, I'm not making these up. We have a metropolitan area network, a MAN. And we have a wide area network, a WAN. We can also classify networks based on how they deal with their resources. We have a client server classification. This is where a client, remember we talked about what a client was in our last video, requests information from another computer. And we can also have something called a peer-to-peer, -peer, which computers are equal and they share resources accordingly. Now, quick word about the peer-to-peer. -peer. This is not what you might be familiar with if you've ever done file sharing online. For example, if you ever uh, Napster or LimeWire or BitTorrent, these are not the peer-to-peer -peer that we're looking at. It's a whole different world. We'll worry about that later. So let's first begin by taking a look at some topology issues. The topology, we can look at the physical layout of the network. And we can also take a look at the logical layout of the network. When we're looking at the physical topology, we're looking at how the wires and the nodes and the devices are physically laid out. You can look at them and go, oh, this is what they look like. A logical topology is how they operate that you can't see. How are they sending the signals? What kind of protocols are they using? How are they arranging the transfer of that information? So a physical topology is physically what do they look like? A logical topology is how they feel. <laughs> it's more about how they work internally. What is it that you can't see that's going on? In the physical topology, we have things like the bus, the ring, the star, the mesh, and the hybrid. And we'll take a look at each of these again in more detail. In the logical topology, it gets a lot easier. All we have to worry about is something called a bus or a ring. In the next video, we're going to start to take a look at this first one known as the bus.